voice to Jesus. Can you shout to Jesus? I am 2024. Empowered. Put your hands together for Jesus. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Shortly, we are rising up to give God quality times. And when we do, we are saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for safe arrival of all delegates from within and outside the nation to this annual Ayak 2014-24 with this understanding anchor scripture, Psalm 91 verse 11. He shall give his angels charge over us to keep thee in all thy ways. With this understanding, why not rise on your feet and give God quality thanks, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for safe arrival of all our delegates from within and outside the nation to Ayak. 2024, lift up your voice, give him thanks, lift up your voice, give him praise. Are you thanking God? Let heaven hear your voice of thanksgiving. Give him quality thanks for safe arrival across the nation of the earth, across all the continent to Nigeria. Lift up your voice, both outside and within. Father, we thank you for safe arrival of all our delegates outside and within Nigeria. We give you thanks. Lift up your voice. Give him quality thanks. Are you sure heaven had your voice? Let heaven hear your voice of thanksgiving. It's a lost doing. He give his angel just over us. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we give you praise for what you have done. No it, no nothing, no accident in a miss. Jesus, we thank you. Those that fly by air, you brought them safely. Those by land, you brought them safely. We thank you. Are you thanking God? Begin to thank him in the spirit. Begin to thank him with understanding. Give him praise. Father, we thank you. Are you thanking him? Lift up your voice. Give him thanks. Give him praise. Lord, we thank you. We can't thank you enough. We can't thank you enough. Lord, we thank you. We thank you as individual. We thank you as a church. We thank you as a family for safe arrival, for safety across the land and bread. Lord, we thank you. Lift up your voice. Begin to thank him in the spirit. Jesus, we thank you. Give him praise. Give him thanks. Lift up your hands to heaven. Begin to wave to Jesus. Thank you for safety. Thank you for safe arrival to all our passive man, to all our delegate. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We bless your holy name. Give him thanks. Give him praise. Give him thanks. Give him praise. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Put your hands together for Jesus. You may be seated. In a moment, we shall be rising to our feet. And when we do, we shall be saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be a mighty outpouring of your spirit upon all youths in this convention, thereby causing the giant in us to rise. Giants say, bigger hey, amen. Yeah. Taking our clue from Joel chapter 2 and verse 28. And it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see vision. Rise to your feet with me as we begin to engage in that prayer line. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be a mighty outpouring of your spirit upon all youths in this convention. Thereby, causing the giant in us to rise indeed. In the name of Jesus, let there be 
a mighty outpouring of your spirit upon all the youth in this convention. Outpouring of your spirit. Pray fervently. Lift up your voice. Make sure you are engaging. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be a mighty outpouring of your spirit upon all youths in this convention, thereby causing the giant in us to rise, thereby causing the giant in us to rise, thereby causing the dormant giant in us to rise. In the name of Jesus, release your spirit upon us. We are here before you at this day one. Lord, release your spirit. Let there be a pouring of your spirit. Let there be a pouring of your power. Let there be a pouring of your glory. Father, let there be a mighty outpouring of your spirit, your spirit of wisdom, your spirit of exploit, your spirit of dominion, your spirit of power. Let there be, let there be, let by some. You can do better than you are doing right now. Let God pick you from the crowd. Let God hear your voice. Let God hear your voice. Don't be lost. Lift up your voice. Tenacious, fervently. Engage. Let your spirit pray. Let your body pray. Let your soul pray. Pray fervently. You are on the mountain. You are the mountain of God. Engage. Maximize this hour. That is states all over the nations of the continent. Rato Supalia, Eketandelia, Marato Zusa, Epiado, Rocatoliane, Epandara Bradiadosa, Etosizia Parane. Make sure you're engaging. Make sure you're engaging. Let the fire drop now. Let there be a pouring of your spirit. Pray till you receive your horn, even from the first night. Pray till you receive your horn, even from this moment. Lord, we are here. Lord, we are here. Lord, we are here. We are not here for a show. Our hearts are open. We are open to receive of you. Let there be a pouring, mighty a pouring of your spirit upon all flesh, upon all youth. In the name of Jesus, we refuse to return the same way we came. Lanto prayer kotaze, etembradi adaba, eto supayane. Lift up your hands, lift up your voice in thanksgiving with the same tenacity. With the same tenacity, give him thanks, give him praise, give him glory. Father, we thank you. Blessed be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Put your hands together for Jesus and please be seated. Again, we shall rise to pray. And when we do, we shall be saying, Father, by the blood of the Lamb, silence every form of distraction targeted at stalling the dominion of participants during AAC 2024. Our anchor scripture is taken from Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. And by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. Rise up on your feet and pray this prayer. Father, by the blood of the Lamb, silence every form of distraction targeted at stalling the dominion of participants during AAC 2024. Father, by the blood of the Lamb, silence every form of distraction targeted at stalling the dominion of participants during AAC 2024. Father, 
by the blood of the Lamb. Silence every form of destruction targeted at stalling the dominion of participants during AR 2024. Father, by the blood of the Lamb, silence every form of destruction targeted at stalling the dominion of participants during AR 2024. Pray with passion, pray with all fervency, pray with all tenacity, saying, Father, by the blood of the Lamb, silence every form of destruction targeted at stalling the dominion of participants during AIA 2024. Eran temino kosha natali kapaniando susaliata. By the blood of the Lamb, Father, silence every form of destruction targeted at stalling the dominion of participants during AIA 2024. Pray with all tenacity this evening. Pray in your understanding. Pray in the Holy Ghost. By all means, let God hear your heart praying, saying, by the blood of the Lamb, silence every form of destruction targeted at stalling the dominion of participants during a form of destruction targeted at stalling the dominion of participants during AIAC 2024. They shall not succeed. It shall not succeed by the blood of the Lamb. We silence every form of destruction. We overcome every form of destruction. We say no to every form of destruction by the blood of the Lamb. By the blood of the Lamb. We silence every form of destruction targeted at stalling the dominion of participants uh, during AIAC 2024. Father, we stand tonight by the blood of the Lamb, uh, silencing every form of destruction targeted at stalling the dominion of participants during AIAC 2024. Pray with all fervency. Press uh, by the blood of the Lamb, uh, silencing every form of distraction that is targeted at stalling the dominion of participants during AIAC 2024. Pray with all tenacity. Let your voice be the loudest in prayers tonight. Crying, Father, by the blood of the Lamb, silence every form of distraction targeted at stalling the dominion of every participant uh, during AIAC 2024. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Uh, pray in your understanding. By the blood of the Lamb. We silence every form of this at stalling the dominion of during AIAC 2024, Leto, Empa, Nika, Sita, Ekluta, Finna, Bosa, Tane, Thank you. Lift up your hands. Begin to give him praise. Give him thanks. Give him all the glory. Because by the blood of the Lamb, every form of distraction is silenced. Give him all the praise. Give him all the glory. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you all the honor. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. It is done. Put your hands together for Jesus as you take your seats. AAC 2024. Empowered. One more time. AAC 2024. Empowered. 
this Ayak is your own Ayak. Come on, if you are shouting amen, shout it like a true believer. Ayak 2023 20, was someone else's Ayak. Ayak 2024 20, is your own Ayak. Come on, a believer is shouting the loudest, amen. Beginning from tonight, testimonies are dropping. I said testimonies are dropping in the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight, it is my pleasure and my honor to welcome each and every single one of us youths tonight to AYAC 2024. The good news is that you that ascended on this mountain will not be the you that will go down from this mountain. No matter the level of empowerment you came on this mountain with, your empowerment level is changing to higher dimensions. Well, if you are saying amen, shout it like a believer. Therefore, I welcome you to your own mountain of encounter. The God that you came to meet at Ayak 2024 20, will meet with you. I'm assured in my spirit that one of the greatest events of our lives must be tied to the encounter on this mountain this week. The good news is God never calls for a meeting and is absent. Every time he calls, he shows up. So before you came here, God was already waiting here. And he's waiting because of one person. I believe that person is here right now. If that person is here, you'll be waving your hands. You'll be shouting. You'll be testifying. Isaiah 45 and verse 19. This God has not called the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. Every genuine empowerment has its source in the Spirit of God. Please listen carefully tonight. Every genuine empowerment has its source in the Spirit of God. So we can't talk about lasting or sustainable spiritual empowerment in this kingdom without the ministry of the Holy Spirit. John chapter 6 and verse 63. It is the spirit that quickened. The flesh profited nothing, nothing. The words that I speak, the words that will be spoken all through this week, he said they are spirit and they are life. So get ready. Via the encounter with the Spirit of God on this mountain, your level must change. Three things to note to maximize our encounter on this mountain. Three things amongst others. Number one, maintain absolute focus. Focus. Many of us came on this mountain with diverse expectations. Many came with desires in their hearts. In 2 Kings chapter 2 and verse 10, Elijah said to Elijah, You have asked the hard thing. You have desired the hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me when I'm taken from thee, your desire will be converted to a testimony. Focus. Hear this tonight, in every prophetic gathering like this, there are catch-up moments. There are catch-up moments when God begins to empower his own. When God begins to distribute unctions, anointings, visitations, testimonies, catch-up moments. All through this week, fight every form of distraction. Fight every dimension of distraction that may come your way. Distraction by association. Please hear this. 
God deals with us as individuals. So on this mountain, God will be empowering us as individuals. You may have come in groups, but eventually you traveled in a group bus or you flew as groups. But when God begins to distribute empowerment, he does that on an individual basis. So fight every form of distraction. Oh, she's my friend, is my friend. Hey, on this mountain, you are one face to face with God. Fight every form of distraction. Social media, your phones. Keep your focus on God. This is not a time to chat. This is not a time to check what is up on social media. May you not miss your moment of visitation. Matthew chapter 6, verse 22. If your eye be single, if your eye be focused, your whole body, my whole body will be full of light. Maintain absolute focus. Number two, be fervent in the spirit. Be fervent. Don't be casual. Nothing outstanding happens for the casual. Don't be casual. Be fervent in your spirit, man. Every youth must display seriousness in your disposition. We are here on serious spiritual business. Avoid everything that can take your focus off God. Be fervent in your spirit. Hmm. Isaiah 44 and verse 3. The Bible says, I will pour water. Isaiah 44 verse 3. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty, not him that is present. It is possible for your body to be here and your mind is somewhere else. Maintain fervency in your spirit, man. I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and flows upon the dry land. Be fervent. Be fervent. Be thirsty and desperate for a change of story. Are there people that came here hungry? Can I see your hand? Are there people that came on this mountain thirsty? Can I see you wave your hands? Now everyone's thirst will be satisfied on this mountain. Number three, and we stop there. Be full of faith. Be full of faith. Let your expectation come alive. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. Hebrews 11. For without faith, it is impossible to please him. It is impossible to touch him. It is impossible to encounter him. So no faith, no encounter. No faith, no visitation. No faith, no empowerment. For surely there is an end. Proverbs 23. And thine expectation shall not be cut off. I've got good news for somebody here. Every expectation that brought you, that came with you, to the mountain of Ayak 2024 must return as a testimony. Everyone's level of spiritual empowerment must move to higher dimensions. Therefore, in a moment, we'll give expression to our expectation. Lord, I am here on this mountain of encounter. I am here on this mountain of empowerment. I refuse to return the same way I've come. Jump on your feet as a youth. Lift up your hand. Lift up your voice. Let's pray that prayer one moment. Lord, I am here on this mountain. I refuse to return the same way I've come. I am here on this mountain of encounter. My level of spiritual empowerment must change. Must change. Must change. I refuse to return the same way I've come. Something I'll be speaking about for many years to come has happened to me on this mountain. Thank you, precious Father. 
Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus, matchless name, we have prayed. Come on, shout an amen like a you tonight. Well, it's time to praise him. Give Jesus a big, 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 big hand of praise as we receive the Levites. You are welcome. Hallelujah.
western part of Nigeria. Join me, welcome, Ayogalu. Thousands seated, 
and the millions watching across the globe. Let's get ready to rumble. This is the fight of the century. Coming in from Zion City, he weighs 75 kg with a record of 24 wins, two losses, and one draw. Ladies and gentlemen, may I welcome the number 17 WBC lightweight champion, Matthew Alukoya. And across the ring, all the way from the city of Pompeii, let us hop all the way from the city of Pompeii, where 80 kg, he has a stunning record of 49 wins, one draw, and four losses, with 43 wins, coming out of the way of a knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome the amazing, the wonderful, the number four, WBC heavyweight champion, Pella Adeyolo! This fight is going to be great to know. Remember to the instruction, give it to amazing. you in the dressing room. Keep to rules at all times. I hope I'm cleared. Now you can touch gloves. I can't wait to see the outcome tonight. Round one. Are you ready? Are you ready? Fight! Oh my God. We have 10 rounds of fight shadow in this Jesus, between these two champions. See, Matthew's coming out strong. Matthew's coming out strong. Matthew's coming out strong. Pella is guarding it. Pella is guarding Ooh. it. Matthew's coming out strong. Oh my God. I am this very confident. Oh. I, I, whoa. Oh Do you see that? Do you see Pella that? Does not disappoint Can you imagine? Oh, Matthew's back I on had, his feet. I had no Matthew doubt. Matthew is back on his feet. Matthew is back on his feet. Now he got to move. He got to run for the second round. Oh, my God. But he got to uh, move uh, well. Right now, right now. Oh, woo. this is round two. Woo. But do I have seen it? This Matthew's fight is not going to last. more ginger right now. I yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Bella is coming up with fresh people. Oh, my God. Can you oh, see that energy? On, to the strength. Oh, Let's my God. It. Let's have it. Woo. Matthew is coming up with more this fight is not going to last it, long. It. It, it's not going to last long. Yes. Oh, what a hit. Matthew is coming out with more vigor. Oh, Can you see missed that? that? Can you see oh, that? Another one. Oh, oh my, my God. God. What a... Oh, wait. Matthew is oh, really You see now. the energy in his face? Yes, the energy what? now is Oh, going. my God. Oh, what a... Wow. Did you see that? Did you see that? Oh, oh my video. God. What a hit. Oh. Oh. Two. Two. Four. He's not standing up. He's not standing up anymore. Woo. impossible. Oh it's my over. God! Oh you my know. God! Bella what are you? Now we have the new heavyweight champion, Matthew Alukoya. Give it up for him. This is amazing. Oh my God! That was mind blowing. I can't believe it. How come he he, he, he just yes, so saw people in just one minute? How come? Congratulations, Mr. Matthew. How does it feel to be the champion? Uh, I feel so elated. You see, I'm a product of constant and consistent training. I won this uh, due to following the instructions of my coach, who gave me the victory even before the fight began. We don't fight to win. We fight to defend our victory. Yeah. Yeah. You were knocked, you were knocked out at the quarterfinals in the last year Olympic in Tokyo. How do you make it to becoming the champion in this year's Ah, uh, Becoming a champion requires constant training and growing. Yes. Many want to reign, but they don't like to train. Yes. They want to blow, but they have refused to grow. Yes. The most important thing, however, is taking it to the instructions of your coach, which empowers you for a triumphant living. Yes. Um, Matthew, Matthew. What do you have to say to your supporters? We sweat in training and we bleed in combat. This title has, has come at a crucial time in my life and I'm ready to defend it at any time. This gathering is not for socialization. It's a training to, reign, to raise and build an association of champions. You cannot afford any form of distractions. You need maximum attention and concentration yes. to connect to the power of the Almighty God. Who empowers? One more question. Being empowered is not a cheap talk. 
but rather it is hard work. We are here to be trained, tutored, and equipped in our various endeavor. Till we come your way again next year, be empowered. They are a family of music here to bless you. Make welcome the Ajayis. is a 
wordsmith, driven by the Holy Ghost. Join me welcome T. Schaefer, a spoken word ministration. Dear agents, I read you this letter to remind you that you are not civilians. In this world, but not of this world, so through of this world and puts on his word, because the only way a frog can drown is if it fails to realize it's an amphibian. Agents, you are sent. Set apart as the best of the best. Sorted to be super without the need for an S on your chest, because this race we are called to run is a long distance one. An eternal one, so we run it like we're from Kenya. A quick word is word that's sharper than any two edged sword, so we use this word as ammo to shoot down demons like Virginia. Word breathing. Agents are sent. As agents of light, sent to so shine amongst the others. But what good is a light if it is put under a table? Agents, you are not undercover. So you've been entrusted with a mandate, instructed to give light, so it's no surprise when I say you are charged with a mission. Let me paint you a picture. You stand before the great director with all his glory in your vision. You were called for a purpose, picked with precision, tailored for greatness without inhibition, saved by his son's sacrifice that substituted you and changed your condition. Now the great director evaluates you. What you did with your time, what you did with your decisions. Would he say the past from you? Or would he say, well done? See, we have been sent to the ends of the earth, so you just dropped the Addy. The minute you chose to be a Christian, you chose to wear the khakis been told to put on Christ like a fit that came on newly. Spiritual warfare pro max we've been equipped for our call of duty. We are testifiers. Talking of the life he gave. Elite fighters. Taken out to seek and save. Life changes. Every time we preach his name to die is game because we're living with the life he gave. See the time remains short. But we're briefed on the objectives. Set on a course that we must follow. You see this mission is not an elective. Descend don't need incentives. Our agents I understand. Trust me. That we have been sent as sheep among wolves. But we speak in tongues, and that's a different kind of code. We exist in Christ, and that's a different kind of home. Our insides are ablaze, and that's a different kind of bone. And we communicate by the Spirit, and that's a different kind of foam. We put on Christ like his skin, so that's a different kind of tone. In whom we live, move, and have our being, and that's a different kind of zone. And he said it in his word that we'll never be alone, and we occur ever frequently in his plan. So I guess that's a different kind of mode. We walk by faith and not by sight. So that's a different kind of lens. His spirit gives us wisdom. That's a different kind of sense. Empowering us from the inside, and that's the reason for our strength. And to spread the gospel to all nations, that's the reason why we're sent. As his word says, Peace be unto you, because as the Father sent me, even so send I you. You are dismissed. And now closing tonight's creativity with a special dance ministration, make welcome the gospel athlete.
There is no mountain anywhere. Every man's ignorance is his mountain. You need to be empowered to make your impact on earth. People need to sit down and wake up. Stop waiting to be empowered. Start walking at being empowered. And to take us further upon this mountain of empowerment, it is announcement time. Praise the Lord. We welcome everyone warmly to the 2024 Annual Utah Life Convention. It shall indeed be a time of unforgettable encounters for every participant in the name of Jesus. Number two, all participants are expected to duly register. All who are yet to register should do so immediately after this service at the registration desk. Number three, the common hour prayer holds tomorrow from 5.30 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. And the venue is here, the Faith Tabernacle. Hallelujah. <laughs> Number four, good news. 
The morning session starts tomorrow at 7 a.m. Hallelujah. All participants are to be smartly and corporately dressed in all the sessions. All participants are expected to come with their notebooks or notepads to take notes during each session. Number five. All participants must be seated in the sanctuary stroke workshop facilities 30 minutes before the commencement of each session. Number six. All participants are encouraged to always put on their participant tags all through these events. Number seven, good news. A prophetic alert towards total restoration of your health. All youth are reminded to partake in the communion daily before going to bed as instructed by our Father. The Apostle over this commission for our health. Number eight, another good news. The Covenant Center for Open and Distant E-Learning, CCODEL, at Covenant University has commenced application for a bachelor degree in computer science. Kindly note, no application fees, no age limits, no jam, or UTME is required. The session commences this September 2024, so visit the CCODEL stand at both the Grace and Love entrances, or visit the website link for more details, as shall as is being displayed on the screen, which is www.ccodl.covenantuniversity.edu.ng. The application, the application closes soon. Number nine, all participants are to maintain, are to remain vigilant throughout this event and report any suspicious movement of person or persons to the church officials. Number 10, connect with youth, youth Alive Fellowship National through our social media handles, which is at Youth Alive Global for YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, which is now X, Threads, and also on Instagram. Somebody shout hallelujah. I am 2024. In this opening night session of I 2024 is testimony time. Let the following kingdom giants quickly come to the altar as they share their testimony. Mrs. Madua Buchi Onyechi from LFC, Ebony State. Unique Powell from LFC Asaba. Heritage Aribisala from LFC, Ekiti State. Dunamis Oriade from LFC Ogun State. Eba Antonin from LFC Okuku, Cross River State. And finally, Pastor Difference Wire from LFC Delta State. Please come quickly. Praise the Lord. A brutal greeting from LFC Airborne State. My name is Mrs. Morabuchi Onyechi Beatrice. 13 years marital delay destroyed. I'm here to return all the glory to God Almighty for using me to destroy my little delay in my family. After the marriage of my three elder sisters since 2012, none in my family married again, except my relative. It become a big challenge to me, but I started putting Matthew 6, 33 at work, and God showed up. My introduction took place, and my wedding was fixed on 13th April, 2024. But before then, on March, they, they announced leadership advance, which took place on 17th March, 2024. I attended here at Kenna Land. At the impartation service, Papa declared a successful marriage for everyone believing God for miracle, miracle marriage or marital breakthrough. I claim the declaration to the glory of God on April 13th, 
2024, I was gloriously married to a, a man. Of Again, to the glory of God, my sister Suto came for introduction on June 2024, and the wedding will soon take place. I am here to say thank you, Jesus. Give Jesus a big, big hand. Lord, my name is Heritage Arib Salah. I want to thank God um, for supernatural favor. Last year I was at AYAC, then I was a seven call member. So I was believing God for um, favor regarding job because I've been applying to different um, places. And so AYAC was just like a prophetic balm where all those prophetic words came to pass. So before AYAC, I had applied at my um, POP for, to be retained, but they said no until I was done seven. So after a, after a week, I went back to my HOD and I told her my interest and she told me to pick up a phone, so, of which I was declined before. So and, and other people were being called for interview except for me, so I, but I was encouraged to go for the interview. So when I got to the interview, they told me that because I was not qualified to, then it was about two months to my POP. I just want to give God thanks because they called me for the interview. I did the interview. And two days before my POP, I was called that a job was waiting for me. I want to thank God. For that miracle job, give Jesus a big, big hand of praise. I have 2024. My name is Eba Anthony Sadu. I'm from Cross River State. LFC and a local government. I bring you a good news. I was into a serious drug business, a drug baron and smoking, humanizing. To behold, when I was doing that, I did not fail to invest in kingdom investment or engage in kingdom engagement. I always go to church and there was a day God spoke to me, stop this business. I said, how will I stop a business that is giving me money? So if you don't stop the business, I will make you broke. So behold, there was a time I ordered a goose of a million and they seized the goose at the road two times. I said, ah, is this how God work? So I went to church. My resident pastor, they sent him new to my LFC, Pastor Matthew Juro Jaye. The very time the man just saw me, he picked interest in me. He now told me, please, Mr. Anthony, you have to change the business. I said, Pastor, how? He said, don't worry, the Lord will walk towards you. So behold again, before I notice again, and I say, oh, all this thing, and I order another goose again. They see it on the road. I say, hey, but the step of a good man is only directed by God. Let me follow the step of God. I say, God, let me just stop this business before something now come and happen. To behold, to behold and to behold, I brought a good news. I'm no longer into smoking again. I'm no longer into drug business again. I want the God of his commission to bless me above men so that for my sake, men who worship God for my unity, in Jesus' name. For that great deliverance, give Jesus a big, big hand of praise. Praise the Lord. I have 2024. Greetings from Living Faith Church, Wari Delta State. My name is Mr. Dufan Swire. I just come to testify the goodness of God of this great commission. I transformed my life from a negative perspective to a positive one. It all started when I graduated from school 2014. I read Banking and Finance. I came back home to worry. I saw myself doing so many things that I could imagine in terms of smoking, drinking, womanizing, and gambling. It was so frustrating that uh, it was a time that I decided, that, how can I make money legal? My friends introduced me to Internet Frosta, which is Yahoo. I traveled to Ghana, Accra, Kumasi, 2018. And one of the Shilo there, when God served and the apostle of this great commission was ministry, he said something. If you can believe Jesus in your heart, you confess it with your mouth boldly, you will become whatsoever Jesus said you will become. I stood up. I said, I'm going front to give my life to Christ. So my friends, they tried to hold me. I said, no, I'm going. After the service, when I got to him, the woman that I was shouting blocked. Immediately, I said, no, I'm going to Nigeria. I came back to Nigeria. It was not easy. I was running, was running. And the 1st of March, 2020, during the prophetic team of the month, God's servant declared 
Fight the good fight of faith. First Timothy chapter 6 verse 12. He said it again. Fight the red fight of faith. I keep to it. I begin to run to that word. Today I've come to testify for the goodness of God. God has opened doors beyond my imagination. I've been connected to a multi trinational company. And today, Mr. Difference is now Pastor Difference. Passionately, serving, vigorously. If one on LFC or Boroke, in what have you said that state? Hallelujah. For that testimony of salvation and breakthrough, give Jesus a big hand. Hi, Acts 2024. My name is Unique Powell. I bring you greetings for LFC Asaba, Delta State. I've come to give God all the glories for his faithfulness in my life. I came here 2023, Ayak. Depressed. I was living in sin. I was stagnated. I came here sluggishly. My mom said she was coming and said I should follow her. And I followed her just because I wanted to change the environment. And when I got here on the second night of the conversion, I went back to my hostel and Holy Spirit arrested me. When I came out of this altar, God transformed my life. I started my content creation and influencing and I used my platform to reach out to many people and preach the gospel. And there's no way you will do for God and God will not do for you. Upon that content creation, brands started reaching out to me. I made my first million. I started reaching out to more souls. Major brands started reaching out to me. I started experiencing fearful favor. I used my platform to reach out to multiple people. And even to come for this program, God opened strange doors for me. I've come to give God all the glory. Hallelujah. For that testimony of salvation, give Jesus big hand. Praise the Lord. My name is Dunami Suryadi. I want to give God all the glory. IAC 2023 was my first IAC, and I came here with Osa and I challenge. Then I told God that I'm coming to this IAC 2023 with expectation that I'm not returning home the same way. Then I came to church that Tuesday. Then on Wednesday, I said, faith comes with action. I have to take a drastic action that will change my story. Then I did what the doctor asked me not to do by taking pepper and also soft drink, and I took it hot. Then I trekked from Covenant down to this church. It was hell, but I kept on pressing. Then I got to church, and during the praise, I discovered that as I was dancing, I was feeling no pain. Up to now, I just want to give God all the glory. I have not felt any pain. And also, I see clearly now. I just want to give God all the glory. For all these mighty acts, can you lift up your hands and give the Lord all the praise? In this opening night session, you will have an encounter with God. Give Jesus a big hand. One more time for all of those amazing acts of God in our midst. Let's give Jesus another big hand of praise. He's worthy. Tonight, in this opening session of Ayak 2024, it is offering time. Someone will believe, say it louder, my blessing time. Quickly, but joyfully. Let's package our offerings that we are brought to honor the Lord. Package your offerings. You can give in cash. Put it in an envelope and label that correctly. You can also give electronically by following the instruction on the screen. In all locations around the world where we are connected to this service, Please follow the instructions as applied to your local assembly. Why we package our offerings, we read from Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 18. He said, But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant which he swore. Unto thy fathers as it is this day. 
as we engage with this covenant of giving tonight, get set. God shall empower you financially. Please rise to your feet if you are done packaging your offering and lift it to heaven and let's magnify the Lord together. Bless his name for the privilege to appear with, before him with a seed in your hand tonight. Father, thank you. I give you all the glory and the praise. Lord, let our offerings be accepted before you today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift those offerings. Father, one more time, we are grateful. Thank you and thank you. Now, Lord, we are asking that for every unraised tonight, as we drop these offerings, let everyone be empowered financially. Amen. Let your blessing come upon everyone. Amen. Let your name be glorified. In the name of Jesus Christ, your seed is blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please be seated, joyfully cast your offerings as we invite the Levite to minister. The endless expectation of the creator awaits the manifestation of the Santa God. So I rise and shine for your light. Your light has come, and the glory is already on you. Somebody receive power to push and manifest. Open up your mouth and call it for. It must 
come to pass. What God desires you to be. Oh, your future, your promises, it shall be fulfilled. No matter what, no matter what you're going through, no matter where you find yourself. It shall come to pass. It must come to pass. Open up your mouth and decree. manifesting on this mountain. Give Jesus a big, 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 big hand. To God alone be all the glory. On this opening night, we are so blessed and honored of God to have in our midst our beloved mother. Right now, with Jesus' joy, as youths of this great church family rise on your feet, and let's give Jesus a big hand as we receive our mother 
to give us a word of blessing. Come on, you can make that bigger, better with a shout to the Lord. Eyak 2024 and empowered shout aloud hallelujah please you may be seated if you are still standing tonight it's my great privilege to stand here to be a part of what God is doing in these days. And as I sat down here, since this service began, I've been so overwhelmed unusually. Why? Because all I kept hearing as I sat down, a great army is rising. There is a rising up of giants, and you are one of them. Yeah. If you are one of them, let your amen show it. Yeah. So I want to just specially congratulate you because God has chosen you to be a part of this rising army. And this week, and the events of this week, you will not forget in a hurry. Yeah. Finally, right here tonight, history is taking place. Yeah. And what a joy, you are a part of that history. Yeah. Your world and your generation will celebrate you. Yeah. Therefore, maintain focus, because empowerment takes place on an individual basis. Acts chapter 2 and verse 3, on the day of Pentecost, the cloven tongues rested on them individually. Beginning from tonight, remember that a great start matters a lot. Therefore, beginning from tonight, be personal. Be what? Say me, I shall be personal. Say like you believe it. The loudest you can. And as you do so, this week will go down in history in your life. Congratulations. Have a wonderful time. I love you all. God bless you. Give Jesus a big hand, and please, you may be seated. For that word of greeting and blessing, will you give Jesus another big hand of praise? Very shortly, we are going to be going before the Lord, our expectations unto him. Isaiah chapter 44 and verse 3, the Bible says, I will pour water upon him that is thirsty, individual." I will pour floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thy offspring. The agent of empowerment is the Holy Spirit. The price for empowerment is a thirst and the channel of empowerment is the word. Tonight, and the greatest expression of your thirst is a cry of expectation. Therefore, tonight, as the word is coming forth, what are you expecting? We have come to a mountain of empowerment. Don't be part of those watching. Be part of those taking their portion. So right now, we are going to go before the Lord. What is your expectation? Lord, as your word is coming today, I am positioning myself for an empowerment encounter. 
Something must change in my life tonight. Is somebody here ready for the first change? Will you rise on your feet with me right now and go before the Lord with fire in your heart, with fervency in your spirit, and begin to express your desperation as you are before the Lord tonight. Lord, I've come tonight for an empowerment encounter. Let it start for me tonight. Let it start upon this mountain for me tonight. Lift your voice and pray that prayer from the depth of your heart. I have come here not just to watch an event. I've come here to partake of an encounter. Tonight, I must encounter you in a new and a living way. My empowerment encounter must begin from this very night. Lift your voice and pray from the depth of your heart. Express your desperation unto the Lord. Express your desperation unto the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord with all of your heart tonight. Lord, this very night, as your word will come, let there be an empowerment encounter for me upon this mountain. He said, the words I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Lord, tonight, let there be an empowerment encounter as your word will come forth in my direction. I will not go the way I came. Tonight for me must be a night of encounter. An encounter with power. An encounter with power that will change my level. That will rewrite my story. Lift your voice and pray that prayer from the depth of your heart. Pray that prayer with faith and confidence in God. Lord, tonight for me must be a night of encounter. Lift your voice and pray. Pray with everything within you. I don't want to just hear your instruction, but I want to also receive your impartation of grace by the word that will come forth. Let there be a transmission of empowerment upon my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift your voice and engage the language of the Holy Ghost. Le garaba katakano shafredia kanta bradia kanto laba riba gatale keto barakalia le brakanti atando la varia le krado shifre keto bakata baraganto predia kanto sa this must be my mountain of encounter my mountain of encounter my mountain of encounter why not lift your hand and lift your voice give glory to god from the depth of your heart Appreciate him tonight. Glorify him tonight. Your own hour, my hour has come. Thank you, mighty God. I'm blessed. Be your somebody believes, say loud, amen. amen. With Jesus joined tonight, will you put your hands together for Jesus as we receive our Father, the Apostle of our discommission, Bishop David Oedico, bringing God's word. Make it bigger for Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, Amen. Ahab 2024. Is hereby declared open. Yeah. For the empowerment of the saints towards each one's enthronement, a life of meaning, a life of fulfillment, yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. No one returns the same way he came. New chapters will be open to each one's life. Yeah. An end will come to everything standing on your path. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. He says, set yourself and you will see the salvation of God. So there is a 
need for a proper positioning to see his glory. The theme is empowered. Set yourself to be empowered. Set yourself to be empowered. For the kingdom of God is not in words, but in power. Set yourself to be empowered. Redemption without empowerment equals frustration. Set yourself to be empowered. And in the name of Jesus, Jesus, breathe over this world tonight. Amen. Holy Ghost, let your fire go forth. Amen. Let's transform every life. Amen. And take all the glory. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Give the Lord the biggest hand of praise. Amen. Amen. Please get seated. Is my portion in 2024. Congratulations. According to God's word, this year marks the end of all forms of misfortune in your life. Yeah. Ayah 2024 shall be a launching pad into a world of fearful favor in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Tonight, I'll be speaking to this subject in this opening night, unveiling the power factor of redemption. The power factor of redemption. As many as received him, to them gave you power to manifest as sons of God. It's important to be empowered and stay empowered in increasing dimension. Salvation without empowerment will result in frustration. After teaching the disciples for three and a half years, Jesus said, I can't guarantee your triumph. Tarry ye in Jerusalem until you are endued with power from on high. You can secure your place in space. Meanwhile, rejoice because your names are written in heaven. So they are saved. But I can't guarantee your security. I can't guarantee your triumph without being endued with power. As many as received him first, to them gave him power second. Men and brethren, what shall we do? Repent, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. There are different experiences, salvation, and empowerment. 
Salvation qualifies us for empowerment, but it's not empowerment. You shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. It's a different experience. The falling away of many in these last days is largely a result of lack of empowerment. Can't stand these storms. Can't withstand in the evil day. Because emphasis is shifting from empowerment to teachings. Teachings are toothless without empowerment. Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit. Luke 4.14 And his words were with power. Luke 4.32 with great power and with authority, he cast out evil spirits. Verse 36. It is the spirit that quickens the flesh, profits nothing. The word I've spoken to you, they are spirit and they are life. It is the spirited war that counts. The quest for empowerment is dying. The church is full of theoreticians. It's time to return back to source. Creation began with the move of the Spirit. It's where God moved upon the deep. And then God's word came, empowered by that Spirit, to create. Christ was irrecognizable 30 years until power came. The apostles were fearful and jittery in the upper room until power came. There is need to renew your quest for empowerment. To consecrate a level of meaning, fulfillment, and triumph. My prayer is that every single person in this convention, both here and around the world where we are gathered, we we'll not live without a genuine experience of baptism in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And connect to the channel of continuous infilling so as to remain in command. For the kingdom of God is not in worlds, but in power. Paul said in 1 Corinthians 2, 4 and 5, he said, And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and of power that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of man, but in the power of God. You don't wish to be empowered, you set yourself for empowerment. Oh Lord my God, the psalmist said, 63 verse 1 
Only will I see thee. My soul thirsted for thee, and my flesh longed for thee. Power and thy glory. To see thy power and thy glory. My soul tasted. My flesh longed. I want to, to see your power. And the word said, I found David my servant. With my holy have I anointed him. With whom my hand shall be established. My arm shall, 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 shall strengthen him. The enemy shall not exalt upon him. The sons of wickedness afflict him. I will beat down his foot before his face and plague all them that hate him. Now, that's empowerment. <laughs> you thirst for it, and when it comes, you command dominion. Psalm 89, 20 to 23, and 20 to 24. My soul thirsted for thee. Everyone craving empowerment on this mountain, you are returning a change person. You are returning a change person. Yeah. Empowerment turns believers into another man. It turns believers into another man. He said, and that shall be turned into another man. It turns men into another man. They couldn't recognize Peter anymore. When they saw the boldness of Peter and John, knowing that they were ignorant and learned men, they took note of them, they are being with Christ. They were operating on the frequency of Christ. Operating on the, with authority. As chapter 4, verse 13. That's what empowerment does. It turns you to another man. It turns you to another man. You imagine a surprise to yourself. That shall be your experience here. Amen. That shall be your experience here. Amen. The things we say may look ordinary to people, but because of the spirit behind it, the spirit of God behind those words, they bring about unusual things. It's your turn. It is the power factor that differentiates Christianity from other faiths. It's that power factor that differentiates your life from others. My prayer is that no one returns from here the same way he came. Amen. But the covenant foundation for empowerment is salvation. Repent and be converted, which means be saved, and then you qualify to be empowered. Then you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Acts 2, 37 to 39. Men and brethren, what shall we do? Repent and be converted. Then you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. The reason why when many people don't get baptized is that they have not really repented. They are only trying to conform.
No one is a candidate for empowerment until he has genuinely repented and converted. I had a very interesting experience because of my evangelical background. We did not believe that we was need for any baptism in the Holy Ghost. We were taught that when you are saved, you can't say just the Lord without the Holy Spirit. So you already have the Holy Spirit. And because that's what we were taught, I, I followed them and was teaching it too. One day I said to myself, what if they are right after all? Say, Holy Ghost, if you're anywhere, baptize me by yourself. Baptize me by yourself. No one lay hands on me forever. A friend came to tap me for a meeting that, look, we are supposed to be in a meeting this time. As I opened my eyes, I began speaking in tongues fluently from that day to It's as awful as that way you are genuinely converted. That's what the question is. Are you, have you repented? And are you really converted? Then empowerment is auto gift. It follows. A young man read my book, The Miracle Seed, 1985. He was a Catholic boy. He got the copy of the book and was moved by the Holy Spirit, I believe, to go to a mountain near their home. And read the book in chapter one, he gave his life to Christ. Chapter three, he got with the Holy Spirit by himself. I am mean, speaking in tough language. Today he has a ministry with a network of churches. Amen. So you can't be genuinely converted and be crying and begging for the baptism. It is the birthright of every child of God. But that's where many stop until the oil is gone. Empowerment is in levels. Now, they receive power on the Pentecost. That was his head, the word. And then, chapter 4, there was great power. So, from power to great power. Now, Ephesians 1, that chapter 4, verse 33. With great power, give the apostles with us. So they have moved from power to great power. Now, Ephesians 1 19, we have the exceeding greatness of his power, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead. <laughs> so we have the exceeding greatness of his power. Call it exceeding great power. So you move from power to great power, from great power. To exceeding great power. <laughs> and then you move from there to the realm of the power of the world to come. <laughs> the power of the world to come. They brought a young chap to me this last Wednesday. He died when he was four years old. And then God raised him back from the dead. Now, he told the mother... The only gift I want is take me to Papa. He was the one I saw that said I should get back. I was speaking here, it was happening there. It was him I saw that said I must get back. The only gift I want, Mama, take me to Papa. Eight years old, sharp boy, rescued from the jaws of death. The power, the power, the resurrection power is still the same today. No matter what they say, the power, the power, the resurrection power, it is still the same today. So you, you are just beginning, you are just being initiated into the school of power at baptism. <laughs> no, speaking in terms of, you know, you are a registered candidate. You now begin to change level. 
100 level, 200 level, 300 level, 400 level. Many have stayed in 100 level all their life. The tongue is drying up. Come on now. So we have power. We have great power. We have exceeding great power. Then we have the powers of the world to come. Hebrews chapter 6. Then verse 5. And I've tasted the good word of the Lord and the powers of the world. So it's time. To embark on the adventure of growing in power. One of the first effects of the fall was fear. Genesis 3 and verse 10. I heard thy voice in the wilderness, I mean in the garden, and I was afraid. Fear was the first aftermath of the fall. Fear is behind most of the troubles of life today. Fear is not a state of the mind. Fear is a spirit. And it takes the Holy Spirit to destroy the whole of the spirit of fear in the man's life. The more fear we are with the Holy Spirit, the more fearless we become. And the more fearless we become, the more triumphant we become. You can't program fear out of a man's life. Psychologists are wasting time. It's a spirit. There is no injection for evil spirit. So you have the spirit of sickness, no matter the treatment, it won't go. It takes the power of God for rescue. In the same vein, it takes the power of God to be rescued from the spirit of fear. Hey, the angel said, fear not. The answer has come. <laughs> fear not. I bring you good tidings of great joy. Fear not. The answer is here. Praise the Lord. You cannot have God with you and still live in fear. He was shooting arrows at people they were fearing before. Everybody kept mute. Nobody could move. Peter took command. If you read the episode of Acts 2, 14 to 36, amazing. He brought the whole of that kingdom down to their feet. Nobody could lift a finger. Oh, man, I'm ready. What, what shall we do? What shall we do? You kill Jesus. Direct. So the first thing he did when he came was to destroy the city of fear. One of the practical evidences of the Holy Spirit at work in your life is destruction of fear.
The Holy Spirit and the Spirit of fear, they are like light and darkness. They cannot coexist in any place. Where the Holy Spirit is, fear cannot be there. Where it is not, fear will be there. Bible scholars claim that there are 350 times where the Bible says, fear not, be not afraid, be not dismayed. <laughs> that tells you how much grip fear has on mankind. Suddenly, by the Holy Ghost, the fearful church became the unstoppable church. Became the unstoppable church. As the Holy Ghost came down upon them. I see every trace of the spirit of fear destroyed in your life. Please know that fear is a spirit. It is the spirit of bondage. God has not given us a spirit of fear. This is bondage again to fear. Romans 8.15 He has not given us the spirit of bondage again to fear. But we have received the spirit of adoption whereby we cry, Abba, Father. It's the spirit of bondage. It holds men and women in captivity. When the Holy Spirit came, he blasted his hold. In 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, God has not given us the spirit of fear. <laughs> but of power, power, the cure for the spirit of fear, power, power. Fear is a robber, it's a tormentor, it's a killer, it's a destroyer. Job said, the things I greatly fear has come upon me. If you read Job 3, 24 and, 20, and 24 and 25, Job 3, for my sign coming before I eat, and my roarings are poured out like the waters. For the thing which I greatly fear has come upon me, and that which I was afraid of is common to me. Every man is a victim of his fear. That's how much you need the Holy Spirit. Sir. First John 4 18, it says, Fear has torment. So fear torments his victim. When Peter saw the storm, he began to sink. Fear drowns destiny. That's how much you and I need the Holy Spirit to be free from the torment, the robbery, the destruction that fear brings. Fear ensnares the destiny of believers. Proverbs 29, verse 25. For the fear of man bringeth a snare. Also trust in the Lord shall be saved. It ensnares destiny, gets you stranded. Most of people are running up and down today everywhere. Behind depression is fear, the fear of the unknown. The uncertainties of tomorrow. And the sole aim of depression is suicide. What are you still doing here? You don't have a future.
Remember I said again, everyone is a victim of his fear. It is a fear of failure that makes a failure. No, they are giants. We can't, we can't, we can't enter there. We can't enter there. And they never, they never did. They saw the good land. They saw the good fruits. But fear won't let them in. Fear won't let them in. You have a great future. May fear not rob you of your great future. Yeah. Numbers 13, 27 to 33. And Numbers 14, 1 to 3. It is a fear of lack that makes it proper. There was farming in the land. It was grievous farming. Genesis 47 and then 15. All the way. But in verse 27, Israel dwelt in the same nation. Our possession there grew and multiplied exceedingly in the midst of heated farming. The covenant was their stronghold and were gloriously exempted. You shall be exempted. It is a fear of sickness that makes sick. It is not death that kills, it's the fear of death that kills. It's a fear of death that kills. You are driving. So then you find yourself heading for your head on collisions. And you already pray your last prayer. I think it's over. Thank you. Receive me to your kingdom. And you are gone. Fear is one of the worst enemies of man. There is no known technique to overcome it. It's the spirit of power that can subdue the spirit of fear. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power to subdue the spirit of fear. So it's not just a state of the mind, but a spirit. Find Peter saying, We cannot, but speak those things we have had and saying. That's not the Peter we used to know, who was swearing before a little girl. He faced the whole council. We cannot, but speak those things we have had and saying. We cannot. Can't stop us. Who are you? Something has gotten in. May that same force get into you today. This is why we need to keep praying for continuous infilling of the Holy Spirit. Because the more free we are with the Holy Spirit, the more fearless we become. And the greater command we gain of the supernatural. It is fear that makes believers lose their authority to command the supernatural. They are the ones speaking boldly in the Lord. Fearlessly, that's the meaning. And God began to bear witness to the word of his grace. By granting signs and wonders to be done by their hands. Acts 14, and verse 3. Speaking boldly in the Lord. Speaking fearlessly. No one can come out supernatural in fear. With fear. He said, I would boldly receive your word and the signs and wonder may be done by the, child of the, by the name of the Holy Child Jesus 
and the place was shaking where they were gathered together and they were filled with the Holy Ghost and they spread the word of God with boldness and great grace upon them all. Great grace, great proofs, great proofs emanating. That's how much every one of us needs the power of the Holy Ghost actively at work in our life to subdue the horror, the devastation, the destruction of the spirit of fear. Again, this kingdom is not in words, but in power. The world is waiting for the manifestation, the demonstration of the sons of God. They see the sense of God holding the answer to their problems. So they are waiting. They are waiting. They are waiting. I therefore decree in the name of the Lord Jesus that every genuinely thirsty soul here will return empowered into the next level. You will return empowered into the next level. You will return empowered into next level. Yeah. 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 For the few moments that we have, listen. The Holy Ghost is the fire. The word is a wood. So for everyone baptized in the Holy Ghost, as the word goes forth, the fire booms, goes higher. You are casting new wood into the fire. The bonfire keeps burning high. My God. Interestingly, and it's my word not as fire. His word was like fire shot away my bone. I could not forbear. Jeremiah 20 and verse 9. No one can stay empowered without the world. As I was speaking these words, the Holy Ghost fell on them. So the Holy Ghost resides in the world. Acts 10, 44. So it's not just about crying for empowerment. It's knowing how to keep the fire burning. Leviticus chapter 6 and verse 12. The fire upon the altar shall be burned in it, it shall not go out. But the priest shall burn wood on it every morning. Every morning. Every morning. We find the fire by the world. We find the fire by the world. Young people hear me? Your time is being molested by all kinds of junks. The fire of the Holy Ghost is only found by the world. I still read daily and I write daily and I'm not busy. I kept thanking God for the grace for sustainable relevance. I still read daily and I write daily. You can't ignore the world and sustain the fire. You cannot ignore the world and sustain the fire. 
You cannot ignore the word and sustain the fire. And what more? The Holy Spirit is our access into the deep things of God. And I'm sure we're having a session on that in the course of this convention. So it provides us access to the wood to keep the fire burning. When it's coming, it will teach you all things. I mean, to remember us all things, what's what you have heard of him. Yes, we need a thirst and a longing for change of levels in the school of power. But we need the fire to sustain the fire. We need the world to sustain the fire. We need the world to sustain the fire. We need the world to sustain the fire. Finally, know that don't, we are not entitled to new wine with an old lifestyle. New wine must be put into new wine skin. And he sanctifies us by his word to keep us, to keep our access to new wine. New wine. New wine. No man put a new wine into old bottles. Else, the new wine will burst the bottles and be spilled, and the bottles shall perish. You can't assess the new wine with an old lifestyle. And the word comes in to sort it out. That's why it's a whole lot of responsibility to stay empowered. It's a whole lot of responsibility to stay empowered. It's a whole lot of responsibility to stay empowered. My prayer is, no life here shall be molested. Amen. No one among us will end this life in regret. Amen. Do not sell your partner for a morsel of meat. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Your tomorrow is great. <laughs> what you do with today is what defines your tomorrow. Amen. Your tomorrow is great. Amen. But what you do with today is what defines your tomorrow. Your tomorrow is great. Amen. But what you do with today is what defines your tomorrow. Your tomorrow is, is not a chorus. It's a responsibility. Someone said, as the morning shows the day, so the child shows the man. Play boys today, don't impart their war tomorrow. Play boys today, never impart their war tomorrow. It takes a serious approach to secure a glorious result. All sports stars began their journey early. Yes, sir. This is your best season. Yes, if you miss heavy connectivity with God at this time, God have mercy. Remember now, therefore, the Lord your God, in the days of your youth, before the evil days come, you marry, you dismarry, you marry again, you dismarry. Say, is Christianity really real? No, you are fake. You are fake. You are not genuine. Someone will be here now, just put his hand in his pocket. Let's go and see what they are talking about. Who are you pulling your shoulder to? One by one, not group by group. God, this is us one on one by one basis. Look to Abraham, your father. So that I be at the, I call them alone and blessed. God spoke to me that word that you are absolutely responsible for the outcome of your life. 
Now, whether you are empowered or not today, it will show tomorrow. He said, I gave the power to tell the poor servants and scorpions, no matter what the powers of the enemy, and nothing shall be enemies hurt you. So empowerment is to keep you from being hurt, being molested, being assaulted. Seek empowerment. Engage with that to keep your life empowered. Keep finding the fire of the Holy Spirit by the world. Regular consumption of the world. Bringing in new wood to keep the fire burning. That's your job. Finally, good news. I've written unto you, your men, because you are strong. You are in your era of strength. And the word of God abides in you. And you have overcome the wicked one. You are in your era of triumph. Yeah. Pay attention. And take position. You are in for the best of times. Yeah. Love not the world, that the things of the world. But it's all loss of what the, love of the Father is not in Him. All that's in the world includes the loss of the eyes, the loss of the flesh, and the pride of life. They rob people of their great tomorrow. You will not be robbed. How many can see the need for the infilling of the Holy Ghost? Let me see your hands. How many understand now that baptism of the Holy Ghost is not the end of the road, but the beginning of the race? How many desire next levels of empowerment on this mountain? That's what you will have. That's what you will have. Now, before we close tonight, please listen to this. What shall we do? Repent and be converted. Then become a candidate for empowerment. That's the deal process. You desire empowerment to be free from the assault of the wicked one. Repent and be converted. And you become a candidate for empowerment. No one empowers the dead. You don't empower an unborn child. Repent, be converted, and then you become a candidate for empowerment. Don't miss AM 2024. That's ordained by God for your empowerment into a world of exploits, a world of many fulfillment. Accomplishment. Securing your place in eternity. Don't miss it for anything. So if you are in this service tonight, in this convention, in this opening night, wherever you are around the world hooked onto this service, you say, Jesus, I want to repent and be converted. I must not miss my place, my empowerment agenda for this convention. Lord, I'm here. Save my soul. Forgive my sins. Grant me a brand new beginning. You'll find someone here talking about being a drug baron. Somebody just came and said, computer scammer. And Jesus set them free. Is this setting people free today? Illegitimate wealth is a cross. Don't handle it. Don't do for it. There are too many legitimate platforms for making a great living in every nation. Too many. Too many legitimate platforms for making a great living in every nation. Just get empowered. It secures your place. You are here tonight to let me to pray with you to become a candidate for empowerment through the new repentance and conversion. Stand to your feet.
everyone that desires to be converted to Christ tonight, stand to your feet. Everyone that desires to dedicate his life to Christ tonight, stand to your feet. You have been going about with your radical Christianity, you now know what you are missing. You can't be empowered playing games, you're empowered being converted. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Anybody else can still stand and let's experience God tonight in a new way. If any man makes a new creature, all things are passed away. Every deadly habit will leave you alone. As if they never existed before. You are standing up for this prayer. Please bring your way to the front. Keep coming. You can take your Bibles and your bag with you because you don't know where you are coming from again. You may take your Bible and your bag so you don't miss your place in getting back your materials. Let the Levites now minister to the Lord. Before the altar of the Lord today, both here and across the nations of the world, where you are hooked to this service, today marks the dawn of a new day in your life. Amen. The same way it freely saves, it freely empowers. Lift up your right hand to heaven. And from the depth of your heart, you pray this prayer along with me. Say after me, Lord Jesus, save my soul. I truly repent of my sin. I believe you died for me. On the third day you rose again, that I may be justified. Tonight, I surrender my life to you. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. And grant me a new beginning. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving my sins and for making me a new creature. By your grace, I shall serve you all the days of my life. By your grace, I shall be guided by your word all the days of my life. By your grace, I shall live the overcomer's life. The overcomer's life. By your grace, sin shall no more have dominion over my life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. And thank you, Jesus, for setting me free from every unwanted habit. From every unwanted habit. Amen. Now be blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. I cover you and I pray this prayer with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Remain covered against any further assault of the wicked one. Amen. 
Your destiny shall not be corrupted. Amen. Your future shall not be defied. Amen. Your tomorrow is secure. Amen. Your eternity is secure. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Grace to run the race to the end. Receive it right now. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Give the Lord the biggest hand of praise, everybody. Amen. Okay. Please move along those lines. They take your details and they come back to join us. Please. Are they here today? Here. Watch his hands, please. Come and show them. Raise your hands. Please follow, follow this way, follow this way, please. Different avenues here. Give the Lord the biggest hand, everybody. What a great harvest tonight. Shall we all rise? Thank you, Jesus. For everyone desiring the baptism of the Holy Ghost tonight, I won't open your heart to Jesus. Lift up your two hands and drink of that river of life with your desperation. I receive tonight the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I receive tonight the baptism of the Holy Ghost upon my life. All those who are already baptized desire a change of level in the school of empowerment. Desire a change of level in the school of empowerment. Desire a change of level in the school of empowerment. Desire a change of level in the school of empowerment. Desire a change of level. Now, the freaking the spirit now. Minister to the Lord in the Holy Ghost. Minister to the Lord in the Holy Ghost. As you aspire next levels, next levels, next levels. Pray in the Holy Ghost, everyone. With a desperation to next level, in the school of power. A desperation to next levels in the school of power.
In Jesus' precious name we are praying. I was 25 when this witch confessed. I asked her, what do you do with the devil? Is there anything I want to solve blood we get on the highways? And we cause the vehicle coming to some assault. And then we suck the blood of the victims. And I said, what are people like us are coming? When we sense a higher power on the way, we clear of the highway. We need empowerment to command dominion. We live in a wide, wicked world. The devil knows that he has but a short time, so it's out with all wrath, all, all wickedness to afflict mankind. We need to jealously guard our power tank and not watch it run empty. We need empowerment to secure our glorious destiny on this earth. The devil is busy hunting for precious souls. We need empowerment. We have come to this moment of empowerment. You shall return empowered into next levels. You shall return empowered into next levels. You shall return empowered yeah. into next level. Yeah. You shall return empowered yeah. into next level. Yeah. So you go to bed every night, Lord, I desire an encounter to my next level of empowerment. I desire again an encounter to my next level of empowerment. I want to move from the realm of power to great power. I want to move from the realm of great power to exceeding great power. I want to move to the realm of the past of the world to come. Because the kingdom of God is within me. I have the potential to operate in the realm of the world, the, the past of the world to come, right inside me. So Lord, help me to move forward. We are moving forward. Yeah. All those four decisions that you make that end up in the great, you won't make them anymore. Yeah. Because it's empowered you with a sound mind. You have a clear understanding of what's going on. Can I hear your amen? amen. Can I hear your amen? amen? Can I hear your amen? amen. Can I hear your amen? amen? My prayer is that no one here returns the same way he came. Amen. Lift up your two hands and commit the remaining days of this convention to the Lord for your person. Lord, make it my mountain of transfiguration through empowerment to next levels by your word. Lift up your voice, lift up your hands tonight. Uh, now let's begin to give him thanks for the visitation in this first night. Lift up your hands, wave them to Jesus. Let's appreciate it for the empowerment of the spirit we have received. Uh, even tonight, uh, magnify his name. Give him all the glory, give him all the praise. Father, thank you for the empowerment of our spirit man. Even on this mountain tonight. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you and thank you and thank you. 
In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Someone here shout a louder, amen. For the visitation received in this opening, I give Jesus the biggest clap and the biggest shout of hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Well, as we get ready to shut down in this service tonight, please take note of the following quick announcement. Let's remind us. 5.30 tomorrow morning is our covenant hour of prayer and it's holding right here at the Faith Tabernacle. So we are all expected to be seated before the time. And the morning session, the first in the series, we kick off at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning here also at the Faith Tabernacle. Amen. Please, all participants are to remain vigilant all through this event and report any suspicious movement or persons to relevant authorities. We have the camp police everywhere. Please, if you suspect any movement, please do well to notify them. Also note that no loitering, as we go back to our respective places of our board where we are taking our rest, we engage in prayers, we engage in studying and reflecting on the word we have received. No loitering around all through the night. Please note as 10 p.m., everyone is expected to be comfortably in your respective places. The Lord bless you and keep each one of us in the name of Jesus Christ. Shall we hold the hand of your neighbor? Amen. Squeeze that hand gently tonight. And you'll be giving the goodness to the neighbor. Are you ready? One, two, go. Surely, God's goodness and his mercy shall follow you. All the days of and you shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Now, now give it to yourself. One, two, go. Surely, God's goodness and his mercy shall follow me. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Peace. Praise God. Fortune is my portion in 2024. Congratulations. Amen. AYAC 2024. Empowered. High five three people. Tell them God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. See you in the morning.